now i would like to request uh, dr nazli gul to present a new trends in the management of hemlyopia dr no, no, nazli no, no, no. Assalamualaikum everyone uh, and uh, the topic for my presentation is recent advances in amblyopia management. So the objectives of this presentation is by the end of this presentation the audience should be able to recognize new trends in amblyopia management, practice available trends and modalities and investigate and compare different treatment modalities. So in UK the National Screening Committee recommends that all children should have an orthoptic split screening assessment of their vision at age of four to five years. Because um, uh, the, this uh, uh, children, they, they, uh, they cooperate more for uh, um, orthoptic less, uh, screening assessment. And uh, four to five years of age, they, uh, these people, they cooperate with uh, these uh, type of assessments. So it's recommended to do opto uh, orthoptic led screening test uh, using the optotypes at uh, four to five years of age. So development of the visual architecture of the visual cortex occurs in stages. The first stage is early innate period and the second one is the critical period during which any imbalance or disruption can cause profound, um, select, uh, profound damage to the neurons of uh, visual, uh, to the visual system. And different aspects of visual processing have slightly different critical periods though they may overlap. It was long uh, thought that treatment for amblyopia was only possible during these early critical periods. But new observations have challenged the concepts, and the recent uh, reports indicate the suppression can be reversed and vision, sorry, uh, and vision can be reversed, uh, uh, vision successfully improved even after the end of conventional critical period, though early intervention delivers better visual outcomes. Uh, this is a pictorial uh, presentation uh, in which um, uh, it, uh, in 1583, Bartik uh, did the first uh, conservative approach to strabismus management. Then uh, Diaphanic in 1835 uh, reported the first strabismus surgery. Then at the end of uh, 19th century, glasses came for children. After that, uh, glasses, occlusion, pharmacological bl blurring of vision, and sometimes surgery was done for amblyopia. And now, this is the era of uh, 3D movies and computer games, that is dark optics. There have been uh, recently uh, studies uh, in different um, trials. So the trends in amblyopia management are optical correction, patching, pharmacological options, and binocular therapy in the form of anti-suppression therapy, <laughs> balanced binocular viewing, and interactive binocular treatment. So optical correction is uh, the, the first line management of any amblyopia. So a meta-analysis based on 29 articles indicated that although refractive adaptation can improve visual equity in amblyopic eyes, its effects is significantly decreased with older age. So more visual, um, more or visual equity improves as treatment progresses. Patching is the second line of uh, treatment for amblyopia, and uh, the guidelines from American Academy of Ophthalmologists and Royal College of Ophthalmologists recommend six hours of patching for severe amblyopia and two hours of patching for moderate amblyopia. <coughs> Next comes the pharmacological therapy, which includes atropine, levodopa. So um, they have uh, been studied in different trials, and. Uh, uh, in 2002, the PEDIC compared the effectiveness of patching and atropine treatments for moderate amblyopia in children less than seven years of age. And improvement was initially faster in the patching group, but after six months, visual equity improvement was similar in both groups. That is for moderate amblyopia in patients um, uh, who are less than seven years of age, both patching and um, this uh, atropine penalization works uh, similarly. Then afterwards, PEDIC evaluated the effect of daily topical atropine prescribed for dominant eye in children less than seven, uh, seven years of age with moderate amblyopia. And a beneficial effect was demonstrated with atropine treatment. But in patients who did not respond to atropine treatment, uh, they um, prescribed planospectral lenses uh, to improve the visual equity. Uh, moreover, Rapka et al. compared daily atropine to weakened atropine treatments in children less than seven years of age with moderate amblyopia, and both provided similar visual equity improvement. 
So for moderate amblyopia, both works well. Levodopa had been studied uh, by Sophie et al. And um, they concluded that uh, it can be used as adjunct to con uh, conventional occ uh, occlusion therapy in amblyopia patients, particularly in older patients and in cases in which the uh, amblyopia is severe. It is given uh, orally. Uh, I mean, uh, different studies have uh, used different um, dosage. Uh, it's in the range of uh, 0.5 milligram per kg in the, uh, divided doses to 0.75 milligram per kg in divided doses. Uh, so levodopa is converted into dopamine, and dop dopamine it um, acts on the retina, and it uh, in <coughs> causes sh uh, shrinkage in the size of receptive field, and it uh, reduces the size of uh, size of scotoma in the cerebral cortex. Then comes the binocular therapy. Uh, it's now it is the era of binocular therapies. <coughs> Studies are ongoing. <coughs> Uh, is uh, already mentioned by uh, most of the seniors, and biops have impaired stereo equity and abnormal binocular summation. And binocular cortical summation persists in subjects with amblyopia. So the depth of amblyopia positively correlated to the degree of binocular imbalance. imbalance. And all this is the basis that uh, activation of these persistent binocular neural circuits might be exploited to awaken an amblyopic eye. So the different uh, um, uh, exercises are the perceptual learning and dicoptic training. In, uh, per, in perceptual learning, the ability of the sensory system to respond to stimuli is improved through experience. It is based on that uh, practice makes a man perfect. So uh, by repeating the same stimuli to the eyes, um, uh, the brain learn um, and uh, visual equity is improved. Uh, and single, uh, a single visual percept is administered to both eyes simultaneously and uh, are under monocular viewing conditions. And pa patients are often trained on contrast sensitivity tasks with occlusion of the non-amblyopic eye. And the different systems used in perceptual training is Cambridge Visual Simulator Technology and Adaptive Optics Perceptual Learning System. Now, the limitations of perceptual learning is that uh, it's boresome for the um, children because uh, there is repetition of perceptual task over many hours, and uh, improvements are specific to the trained task and do not transfer um, uh, uh, easily to novel task. I mean, if the uh, child is uh, trained on some task, they will get information, they will get that task, but when a new task is introduced to the child, he will not be able to uh, get that. Uh, uh, that much readily. So dicoptic training is presenting different images to each eye is dicoptic presentation. Unlike perceptual learning, dicoptic treatment presents individual stimuli to each eye. Us mein aapka single visual percept tha, jo ek eye ko aap dete the ya dono eyes ko dete the, different tarikos se. Lekin is mein jo hai to dono eyes ko stimuli dete hain. Thik hai? And playing computer games or watching movies on digital displays. Okay. With manipulation of the images sh shown to each eye by means of LCD glasses or prism overlays. Some of them use uh, the red gleam glasses, some use shutter glasses, others use pol polarized uh, glasses. They decrease the luminance in the fellow eye. These are the different games uh, child wear the glasses, and um, uh, these games are played on iPad, uh, on uh, digital screen. So the dicoptic treatment can be divided into intersuppression therapy, binocul balanced binocular weaving, and interactive binocular treatment. In anti-suppression therapy, it is uh, based that, um, as already mentioned, um, uh, the eye with amblyopia have decreased contrast sensitivity. So a high contrast um, image um, is given to the um, amblyopic eye, and a low contrast image is given to the um, uh, better seeing eye. And as the visual equity improves, the contrast between the two eyes um, is, becomes equal. That is, uh, when the visual equity starts to improve, then um, the eye which is uh, having, uh, yeah, the good eye to which um, we just any um, low contrast image diya tha, uska contrast, we will increase that contrast. So the contrast between the two eyes, the image ka contrast, it becomes equal. Uh, and us time the child has to carry out a task that requires combination of information from the two eyes. Acha, 
ठीक इसमें एक बिल्कुल जी बिल्कुल यानी बाइनोकुलरली वो देख सकें और ब्रेन वहाँ सप्रेशन ख़त्म हो जाती है ठीक है एक टेगरिस गेम को दिखाया हुआ यहाँ पे ठीक है जिसमें यानी डिफरेंट कंट्रास्ट के इमेजेस हैं ये फॉलिंग फॉलिंग ब्लॉक्स हैं ठीक है तो उसमें यानी एक आई जो आपकी अच्छी आई होती है तो इट सीज लो कंट्रास्ट इमेजेस और जो आपकी एम्बलायोपिक आई होती है तो वो हाई कंट्रास्ट इमेजेस को देखती है अनदर गेम डिगरश गेम इट्स नाउ बींग स्टडी इन डिफरेंट ट्रायल्स इसमें यह होता है कि एक माइनर होता है विच इज डिगिंग दिस गोल्ड इन द माइन ठीक है तो जो हाई कॉन्ट्रास्ट इमेजेस हैं जिस तरह माइनर हैं या फिर जो फायर बॉल हैं तो दे आर शोर्ट इन हाई कॉन्ट्रास्ट एंड दे आर प्रजेंटेड टू द गुड आई गुड सींग आई एंड लो कॉन्ट्रास्ट जिस तरह ब्लू एलिमेंट्स है जिस तरह गोल्ड है और प्लेटफॉर्म्स है ये सारे प्लेटफॉर्म्स है गोल्ड है ठीक है दे आर सीन बाई द फेलो आई जो ग्रे एलिमेंट्स है रॉक्स और ग्राउंड्स ठीक है ये ग्राउंड है और ये रॉक्स है तो दे आर सीन बाई बोथ आइस ठीक है तो आपने वो जो बच्चा होता है वो वो विथ फिंगर्स वो मैनिपुलेट करता है इस माइन को और गोल्ड को के टू टू हेल्प हिम टू डिग द गोल्ड और जितने वो जितना एफिशिएंटली वो करता है तो ही गेट क्रेडिट्स फॉर इट और गोल्ड कैन बी यूज्ड टू परचेज मोर माइनर माइनर्स इन डिगिंग टूल्स एज वेल एज टू डिग फास्टर एंड कैरी मोर गोल्ड Uh, and there are 42 levels uh, uh, increasing in difficulty and the patient can earn up to 3 stars per level maximum stars are 126 and at least 18 rounds of gameplay is required to reach 100% contrast to the fellow eye if gameplay is uh, unsuccessful for 30 minutes no star earned that fellow eye contrast is reduced is tarah ke jo aapki myopic eye hoti hai usko 100% contrast dete hain aur we start jo dusri eye contrast hai wo 20% se start kar lete hain then we go on increasing it or like an ipad jo automatically record this duration of gameplay and contrast to the fellow eye <coughs> acha uh, kelly at all day he performed a study jisme he confirmed that dig rush was effective in treating childhood amblyopia and was more efficacious than patching a two week visit Uh, but uh, dig, uh, dig rush didn't show m- more improvement than spectacles correction alone in pedic study but treatment adherence was not so high and it would be interesting to perform more studies with higher adherence adherence ka issue tha pedic mein that's why unko koi zyada effect nahi mila in other studies with less patients in shorter duration the improvement had been approximately 1.5 logmar lines so the new treatments may be as effective as conventional patching or blurring treatment um uh, with patching uh, visual acuity generally improves by 0.2 logmar unit over 6 months and across the coptic treatment studies um, equity improvement ranges from 0.08 to 0.26 logmar unit then by bin- ba- balance binocular viewing isme kya hota hai ki aap jo um, it blurs the image seen by the better seeing eye isko blur image dete ho theek hai aur iska jo hai to iska blur nahi hota वो दोनों को ब्रेन इसको कंबाइन कर लेता है इमेज को एंड द रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ द इमेज शोन टू द बेटर सीइंग आईज इज मैच टू द रिजोल्यूशन परसीव्ड बाय द एम्लायोपिक आई ठीक है आपने यहाँ पे जो इसको इमेज दिया है तो वो आपका इमेज उसकी रेजोल्यूशन काम है और जो पुअर सीइंग आई की रेजोल्यूशन के मुताबिक जिस तरह वो परसीव कर रहा है उसके बराबर आप उसकी रेजोल्यूशन रख लेते हो ठीक है इंस्टेड ऑफ प्लेइंग कंप्यूटर गेम चिल्ड्रन वॉच मूवीज एट होम फॉर एन आर अ डे वाइल वेयरिंग एल सी डी फिर इंटरेक्टिव बाइनोकुलर ट्रीटमेंट है ठीक है इट प्रेजेंट्स डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ टू डायमेंशनल विजुअल सीन टू ईदर आई थ्रू शटर ग्लासेस कंबाइंड विद अ टास्क दैट रिक्वायर्स कम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू इमेजेस इमेजेस आर व्यूड विद बोथ आईज बट पार्ट्स ऑफ द इमेज कैन ओनली बी सीन विद द एम्बलायोपिक आई इन द मटीरियल व्यूड कंसिस्ट ऑफ वीडियोज एंड इंटरेक्टिव गेम्स रिसेंट स्टडी शोन दैट बाइनोकुलर डायकॉप्टिक ट्रीटमेंट मे रिजल्ट इन सिग्निफिकेंटली ग्रेटर लर्निंग इफेक्ट्स दैन मोनोकुलर ट्रेनिंग Lee and colleagues demonstrated that 9 hours of training with diacoptic movies over a period of 2 weeks resulted in 1 to 4 lines of visual improvement in children 4 to 10 years of age. But there um, and uh, there is greater effect of binocular function than conventional treatments uh, adherence issue hai lekin um, uh, jo games um, uh, jo games mein hoti hain ya videos form mein hoti hain to bachche jo hai they like it aur un studies mein have shown ke adherence unki 80.6 to 93% hai 
ठीक है लेकिन ठीक इसमें ये होता है कि लास्ट थ्रू लास्टली थ्रू ट्रीटिंग द फंडामेंटल बायनोकुलर इम्बैलेंस ऑफ एम्बलायोपिया डायकॉप्टिक अप्रोचेज में रिड्यूस द रिकरेंस ऑफ एम्बलायोपिया जिस तरह सर ने बताया कि जो रिकरेंस होती है ठीक है लेकिन इसमें जो है चूँकि आपकी बायनोकुलरिटी इम्प्रूव होती है आपकी सप्रेशन ख़त्म होती है तो इसमें रिकरेंस के चांसेस कम होते हैं दीज आर द डिफरेंट आर सी टीज विच आर गोइंग ऑन ऑन एम्बलायोपिया दिस डायकॉप्टिक ट्रीटमेंट Uh, limitations the acceptability of these treatments to children and families is still not known and there are concerns that weekly hospital based treatment will face problems with adherence and families will find it difficult to uh, attend frequent appointments jo home based hain wo to theek hai unke sath compliance achhi hai lekin hospital based mein especially it's difficult for families to come to hospital and attend the sessions to unke liye phir adherence problem hota hai aur jo tetris game jo maine aapko dikhaya jisme contrast uh, um, को वो किया था इमेजेस डिफरेंट कॉन्ट्रास्ट के लिए थे तो इट मे बी टू रिपीटिव टू मेंटेन अ चाइल्ड अटेंशन फॉर एन आर अ डे और सेवरल वीक्स बट वॉचिंग मूवीज इज देयर फॉर अ ट्रीटमेंट प्लेटफॉर्म एक्सप्लोर बाय सेवरल रिसर्चर्स एंड इट रिक्वायर्स मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ द एग्जिस्टिंग मूवीज फॉर ग्रेडिड थ्री डी वीविंग In summary, technological development in the last decade has uh, been explosive, leading to an innovative and improved management of the amblyopia based on binocular treatments. And future investigations will, uh, with randomized control trials, are needed to explore not only efficacy and safety but also acceptability in the usage of these uh, treatments. Thank you.